interesting. We think we know a lot about what's happening around us, but that's not always the case. Did you know, I certainly did not, that Silicon University has an international college? What is even worse is I didn't know that it started in 2003, but I guess we're going to learn a lot more in this morning's program. We also know, of course, that Silicon is for the arts, so it probably comes as an additional surprise to know that they're also in the hospitality industry too, in terms of their teachings. We thought we'd take the opportunity to talk to the Business Development Director of Silicon University International College, Mr. Robert McKenzie. He even spells his name the same as mine, <laughs> or I spell mine the same as him. Robert, welcome to the program. Thank you. Good morning. You know, as I said, we always think about Silicon as the arts. What was the theory behind Silicon going into, uh, into more into the entertainment fields and particularly into hospitality and tourism? Well, it was largely due to the fact of the growth of the Thai economy in the 1980s and the 1990s and the impact of globalization. And um, there was a growing demand within Thailand for international programs. And we saw some of the other universities, such as Assumption and uh, Mahidon, introduce international programs throughout the 1980s and the 1990s. And Silipacorn realized that they needed to introduce international programs as well. Mm. Um, and this was ready to meet the growing demands um, from, from the Thai public. So in 2003 we created the International Faculty under the leadership of Assistant Professor Dr. Sompit Katia Pikun, who is still the current director mm -hmm. today. And um, we really thought about the wants and needs of the Thai public and, and what was important to mm. the Thai economy. Um, multimedia design was one of these, mm. and because of our association with art and design. That's a natural link. It is. Yes. It was a natural uh -huh. thing. We, we created a double degree program mm. with Birmingham City University from the UK, which allows students to get one degree from Thailand, but also one degree from UK. Mm. But the program is delivered here in the UK. That's great. Yeah, mm. and we also looked at, um, and quite relevant to what the current government are talking about these days, is the growth of tourism, mm. the importance of tourism to the Thai economy. Um, and we looked at introducing a double degree program with Vatel Business School from France, mm. which is a Bachelor of Business Administration program in hotel management. Mm. So it was really looking at the wants and needs of, of the Thai economy and the Thai public um, and creating programs to meet those needs. So seven years later, you've got some 500 students. Of those, what percentage are in the multimedia and what are in the actual hospitality well, tourism sector? Yeah, good, good question. Both, both programs are very specialised in their nature. Um, the multimedia program um, requires much smaller classes. Uh, because mm. they're using technology, whether it's uh, recording equipment, mm, whether it's sound equipment, sure. so the class sizes are a lot smaller. Um, the hotel management program, we've been very lucky because we've adopted Vatel's curriculum from France. Mm. And what this does is it takes three different parts throughout an academic year and rotates them around. Mm. So we've got practical classes, we've got academic classes, and the students each year also go on internships. So this means that we can take larger numbers mm. on the hotel program and we can rotate the students around so that they're not all in the same classes mm. at the same time. I'm going to go backwards. Internship, is that actually in Thailand with Vitel or is it actually internationally with Vitel? Um, we, we, we create different approaches each year. So the first year they stay in um, our application restaurant in Taling Chan, uh, which is open to the public. Mm. In the second year they go out to hotels in Thailand, mm. so we have good relationships with all the major hotel chains such mm. as the Akal Group and the Starwood Group. In the third year they go to France wow. to do their internship. Wow, that's a bonus. Yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. this is very exciting for the students. They mm. obviously study French as part of the programme. And then in the final year, they can choose wherever they want to go to, uh, whether that's in Thailand, whether it's going back to France, but we have also internship opportunities in, in, in the UK, in mm. the US. So um, it, it really exposes them to different cultures, and this is mm. something that we really encourage them to do. It's interesting because when I actually look at other universities that are selling similar programs in English to both Thais and foreigners alike, I guess that most of them have the hotel connection. They, they've built their own hotel or whatever mm. on site. But I haven't heard of any that have got their own restaurant. Yeah. Now, for the, I know that you're going to have a special promotion on at Vatel Restaurant at Talingchan, 19th to 24th of July. 
What, what is the location of the restaurant in Tanning Chan? The location of the restaurant is if you go past Centran Ping Lao right. um, by about five, ten minutes, you go past the campus, which is on the left-hand yes, side, uh -huh. and it's another couple of hundred yards past the campus on a U-turn. For the festival, for the, um, it's a gourmet regional French cuisine festival. So it's that French doing. and, although I read it, it's French, Thai and Italian. That's the normal menu. Oh, okay. So the normal menu is, yes, we have French, Thai and Italian, but for this um, gourmet cuisine week that we're doing, and um, this is just French food, it's from the four regions of France, mm. out of the four main regions of France, and the set menu is at 420 baht per person. Mm. So that's uh, an appetizer, a main course and a dessert. Mm. So yes, it's very reasonably priced. And sim mm. similarly with the menus, normal menus right. as well, 300 baht a menu. So menu. you have chefs in the kitchen who are students, mm -hmm. you have the waiters, the cashier, all of them are students, part of the process of being part of the Silicon University That's International correct. College. Yeah, uh, and what we do is they're supervised by industry professionals. Mm. So the students are, are running the, the restaurant as such, they're, they're the ones that the customers will see on the floor um, and behind the scenes they're cooking in the kitchen, but they're all supervised by industry professionals. Profitable? Um, the main aim isn't to make a profit. But is it profitable? It, it, it can be, <laughs> <laughs> if we have a good week. Uh -huh. <laughs> but the main aim is really to give the students the practice. Um, so you're not saying to them you've got to run a successful restaurant to actually do better with your, your final GPAs? Yeah. Mm. I mean, obviously we need customers for the students to be able to practice. Mm. So we have to have some marketing element to the restaurant. Um, but the main aim is the educational concept. Thank you very much, Robert, for joining us, and I wish you every luck with uh, the, uh, is it called a special name, the festival, or for the restaurant? It's a, a regional French gourmet mm, cuisine week. Sounds good. 19th to 24th of July, the number's on the screen for you again. That's Patel Restaurant, all part of Silicon University International College. Thank you again. Thank you very much. Thank you.